Will somebody please cue that void? Samurai pizza cat. Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai pizza cat. Right on! They're stepping up crime and you know that ain't baloney. They're speedy ceviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter ah. makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going into battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido and Chobi, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. Here <laughs> They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. <laughs> Than old cheese, stronger than dirt. Stronger than dirt. Out of my tail, and you're gonna get hurt. Don't hurt me. <laughs> They're fighting crime all over town. Three, two, one. These cats are on the run. The big cheese is the villain who's lower than low. It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty. Ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> Our story begins as Spritz is delivering a worm and anchovy special to a small but boring village which overlooks Lake. Otama. It says here to deliver it to Lake Otama Village, but no one's here. Spritz's situation is dire indeed, for when he left Pizza Cat headquarters, he forgot to ask for two essential things, an address and a phone number. Psst. Hey, Pizza Man, huh? that's for us. Bring it over here. Hey, guys, nice hats. One large worm with anchovy. That's the one, all right. Just look at those worms, will you? So fresh I can swear they're still wriggling. <laughs> It sure is nice to be appreciated by a couple of gourmets like you. Little does Spritz realize that the two pizza munchers are members of the gang controlled by the Big Cheese, whose latest nefarious scheme is being hatched at this very moment. Nefarious? Hmm, I'll have to look that one up. Gee, looks like this place is deserted. I wonder where everyone is, huh? How weird. Where'd all this fog come from? What was that? Weird sounds on a foggy lake. The perfect conditions for finding prehistoric monsters. I've always wanted to catch one of those things. Now's my chance. Huh? Three days later... There's been no sign of Spritz for three days. I don't care if he was delivering to the North Pole. He should be back. Unless he forgot his snowshoes. Look, anything's possible. He could have met up with a prehistoric monster or be playing in a hot poker game. We can only hope that it's a monster. Hmm? Let's see now. Pickles and egg salad and potato chips. Well, mustn't forget the tanning lotion. Sorry, but your picnic will have to wait. Eh, there's no reason to wait, Mr. Dente. After all, we are going to Lake Otama, right? It's a really beautiful spot. You should come along with us. We'll have a great time. Campfires, weenie roasts, toasted marshmallows, and all sorts of... Stop that, you imbecile! <laughs> if those two really cared about Spritz, they wouldn't be thinking about a picnic. They're terrible. They certainly are. A good friend is in trouble and they're packing. That's easy for her to say. She's already packed. If he is playing poker, tell him never to try to fill it inside straight. Yes, sir! Samurai Pizza Cats They make great pizza, but that ain't all. Samurai Pizza Cats They're ready to fight. When you need them, just call. They know how to stop crime. Just do what they say. If you don't want a bad time, stay out. <laughs> oh, I love those cats. Samurai Pizza Cats. The heroes who always wear fur. <laughs> At last, it's lunchtime, folks. I can't tell you how excited I am. I'll be launching the Pizza Cats as soon as I finish this video game. Hey, I won! Wow! We'll be launching now with nothing flat. What? Cats can't fly. It doesn't make any 
any sense at all. There's no need for it to make sense, dear. This is a cartoon. Huh? What's that? Hmm. I have no idea. I wish we knew who ordered that worm and anchovy pizza. It might be an important clue. I'm air sick and he's talking worm and anchovy. Thanks a lot. What about those prehistoric monsters? Don't you worry, Polly. With me on the case, those ditzy dinosaurs wouldn't dare show up. What a remarkable coincidence! You hear that sound? Guess who? No, please don't hurt me! Dang, you're in! <laughs> Scaring these simple peasants not only creates chaos, it's fun. <laughs> Love that Cyclops. And that pink Tyrannosaurus is a scary little number. <laughs> Tennis, anybody? Is she a knockout or what? <laughs> Try and get you a date. Yes, my plan was perfect. We've got plenty of captives to work in the mines and the village is deserted. I think it's time for us to talk about your breath. You could brush more than once a year, no offense. <laughs> no offense taken. I appreciate your attempt at humor, as feeble as it may have been. What? Who are you calling feeble? Golly, I can't imagine. Who's the only other person here? <gasps> His chief advisor deserves more respect than to be sent into the field like a common foot soldier to carry prisoners. If the big cheese weren't paying the bills, I wouldn't stand for it. After all, I've been the maitre d' of some of Burbank's finest establishments. Ooh. What's wrong with you? Terminal fatigue. Meanwhile, our samurai seek a solution to the sudden snatching of spritz. I just love alliteration. Well, here we are at Lake Otama Village, but there's no sign of spritz or anyone else for that matter. Hey, what's that over there in the ground, Speedy? Looks like dirt. Now listen, we'll split up. One of us is bound to find someone. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Polly. Whoever nailed up those boards wasn't worried about having to get back in. I'll send you a huh? Princess Vi? Why is she here? Who cares? If someone doesn't guide me around Lake Otama, you're all gonna be sorry you were ever drawn! Please, Princess Vi, have a heart. We're frightened of all the terrible monsters that we've seen. Nutcases! All of you! Nutcases! Well, Greedo, what do you think? The whole village is crazy. All of us have seen them, Princess Vi. You've gotta believe us. We know we've missed our fish quota, but we can't go near the lake. It's too risky. But I want sushi! All right, you, tell me what this monster of yours looked like and what it was doing and where we can find it! Its face has only one eye, which is very scary, as you can imagine. Gee, the one I saw was made out of metal and it giggled the whole time. The one I saw was a geisha goblin. It had huge lips and was even uglier than you. Let's see now. A geisha made out of metal with one eye. Hmm. Like this? <laughs> that was just my first try. Now let's see, how about this? <laughs> and how about this one? Oh dear. Oh, did it look like this? <laughs> this? <laughs> this? It's all beginning to add up. I'd say all the rumors we've been hearing are true. You mean Dan Rather wears his toupee to bed? Oh, no! Not that. I meant all those stories about the monsters. Besides which, I promised Dan I'd never tell. Meanwhile, Spritz has discovered the purpose of Big Jesus reign of terror by joining the underground. But it isn't exactly the underground he had in mind. Keep digging, you! Go on, that's it! The Big Cheese, you see, has discovered a vein of pure gold under Lake Otama, and his captives are being forced to dig it up, whether they dig it or not. I've got to do three things. Get a message to the pizza cat, change my underwear. Hey, keep digging! And find some aspirin. <laughs> As usual, my plans are working out perfectly. Just as I expected. Soon, the gold will give us the power to demolish the social order and replace it with chaos. 
And the people will be so desperate for leadership that they'll gratefully accept our total domination and control. They'll take their orders from us. It's going to be wonderful. I wonder, are you incurably deranged or is it temporary? <laughs> <laughs> that is not funny. Of course not. I've got so much gold that I thought I'd send a few small statuettes to those who deserve them. But which one's the real me? They're all lovely, of course. But I'm particularly fond of the ballerina and the muscle builder. What do you think? I know it's difficult to choose because they're all so beautifully me. I think that one in the center is very nice. What's that? I mean to say the one on the left. Really? And yet the one on the right has a definitive yet understated elegance, wouldn't you say? Oh, no doubt about that. But it doesn't epitomize my quintessential essence. Now he's an art critic. What next? <laughs> Gotta get this message out to the cats, but Bad Bird's gang is watching us every minute. And even if I do get it out, how'll they find it? Hey, a garbage chute. Well, they'll either find it, or it'll be recycled. Those stupid fools are still trying to investigate Otama Lake. Stupid fools? You repeat everything I say. I say stupid fools, you say stupid fools. Can't you come up with anything original? How's this? Yeah! It's beautiful. Hard to imagine there's any monsters around here. Huh? Wonder what this is. Hmm. Fortunately, Speedy has found Spritz's note. Unfortunately, he can't read Chinese. Oh, well, win a few, lose a few. There's more here than meets the eye. You can say that again. There's more here than... Guido! Were there any clues in that note you found, Speedy? Nope, just the laundry list. Huh? Ah! Sounds like action time. Yeah! Right. Sorry about this, guys, <gasps> but I think you forgot something. Oops, you can't start a fight without our traditional intro. Guido Anchovy, special kind of guy. Polyester, foxy smart, and a great fighter. The bad guys don't stand a chance against love and power. And my name is Speedy Servi J, better known as Mr. Cool. And what motivates this intrepid trio? Next week's paycheck! Mm, that mountain is weird. You mean because it's got eyes? Or because it's moving? Or because of those thundering footsteps we're hearing? Or because of those giant teeth? I don't like creative animation, but a pink dinosaur is carrying things too far. Even for the pizza cats, don't you think? If our producers are watching, please do me a favor. Lighten up, will ya? I didn't know the pizza cats were involved in that caper. What a great opportunity to get rid of them once and for all. Now you've had it, Buster! little Polly. Ooh, I just love this. Uh, I was wondering, does anybody know where we're going? Whatever you do, don't stop. <laughs> Terrific! You say don't stop and we end up in a swamp full of quicksand. Quicksand? And we're all gonna drown. Drown? Don't worry, guys. We'll find a way out. Got any ideas, Speedy? Absolutely not at all! Ugh. Try to escape and you'll have to watch Pizza Cat's reruns for a week. So, I didn't go that far, eh? Well, I can't let that stop me. I've got to find a way out of here. Aha! Looks like the drainage pipe attached to this toilet is the only way up. So be it. If we don't think fast, we're done for. We'll construct the poly, thanks. Oh. No one 
said it was going to be easy. But sewer swimming wasn't in the contract. Huh? I'm almost to the end. Great! Well, what do you know? Spritz's escape route has led him directly and conveniently to Pizza Cat headquarters, which, now that we know where their water comes from, doesn't say a whole lot for their pizzas. Hey, give us a break, will ya? It's still the best pizza in town. Dr. Buswamp, the courage of our three heroes remains undaunted. Sort of. Look, you can forget that. I love to hear them beg. Huh? What is that thing? That's either the machine that created all those monsters or a really inefficient fire engine. Spritz knows precisely what to do. This calls for the unstoppable force of the Tail Sucker. What's that? What's going on here? Go south, out to lunch. The light's on, but nobody's home. Not an old like you do, but I'm tempted to struggle. Quick, grab the rope and hold on! Phew, your shades are closer than Remington's. And my uniform was just clean. Look! Bonkers, bonkers, does not compute! That machine is what caused all the problems around here. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, Big Cheese, if you're in there, you'd better get out right now, because I'm about to slice that machine of yours into pieces! I'd like to recommend the Cat Slash, which under the circumstances would seem highly appropriate. You got it, Split! You've seen it all before, fans, and you're seeing it again. The Squirling Pink Flame, the convenient pop top scabbard. As Speedy unsees the magic of Ginzu Sword! Meanwhile, Princess Vi is bored to tears. I've been here for days and haven't seen one monster. Hmm? Oh. Gracious, what's going on? <laughs> now you listen to me, you ugly alien monster. I want to know why you've been terrorizing my subjects and creating havoc around Lake Otama Village. I'm not an alien princess, Vi. Don't you recognize me? Oh. You monsters think you're clever, but I'm too smart to fall for your baloney. Go back where you came from, now! Oh, come on, Princess Vi, give me a break, will ya? Where do you want? Yeah. In the your leg, face, yeah. back, yeah. hair? Yeah. See you later. I doubt it. Always wanted to go on a cruise. It's so relaxing. Yeah, a good life. That's what this is. Huh? Good. So much for that, I saw. If he wants to know where it is, I'll tell him we had to melt it down to pay for his dry cleaning bill. <laughs> and so the enigmatic mystery of the phenomenal monsters of Lake Otama is solved. And as our heroes are cheered by crowds of adoring admirers, they know what's truly important is that they can take off those uncomfortable costumes and relax until the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath! The pizza cats are samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call a retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down... We land upon our feet. So hail to thee, oh pizza cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like... Pizza cats! you like the show, it's the best that we could do. Come on, right, it's a guess. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats 
will be back for another big show. <laughs> oh, gosh.